Hello everyone, good morning. Hi, all over good and I'm also fine. So today I will take another class from derivatives. I already completed in four lecture the first order derivative. Today I will take the I will take the class of derivative second order. Okay, and up before uh, starting the class, I will uh, wish you all of you very very happy Dashara and very very happy coming Diwali. Okay, so since uh, this is the first video after. Uh, Durga Puja after Dashara. Okay, I hope all of you enjoy the Durga Puja a lot and Dashara also. Okay, so let's start. So, e, so what is the question here? If y equal to 3 cos log x, if y equal to 3 cos log x plus 4 sin x, prove that x square y2 plus x y1 plus y equal to 0. So, you have to know here y2 means this by d square y and dx square and y1 means dy dx this is second order and this one is first order okay you have to know this one so let's try what is given here given y equal to 3 cos log x plus 4 sin log x okay now differentiate with respect to x it will become dy dx that is y1 equal to how much d by dx cos log x plus 4 d by dx sin log x okay now here it will be y1 3 minus sin cos x is minus sin x and log x is what 1 by x here also sin x is cos x cos log x and a log ddx log x is 1 by x right now if i lcm here it will become x y1 if i multiply x here it will become 3 it's minus 3 sin log x plus 4 cos log x Why, what i am doing here i am multiplying x in both sides so here it will be x y1 here it will x x will be cancelled out here will be as x will be cancelled out now do u into b here and differentiate again if we differentiate again it will become d by dx y1 plus y1 into d by uh, sorry d by dx x right here minus 3 d by dx sin log x plus 4 d by dx cos log x now x d by dx is what this will be y2 d dx of y1 is y2 so y1 it will be 1 and here minus cosine x is cos log x and log x is 1 by x here also plus it will be minus sine log x and log x derivative is 1 is not it now again multiply both side by x so here it will become x square y2 here x y1 and here x will be cancel out it will become 3 cos uh, log x plus minus 4 if i take minus common it will become like that plus here will be sin log x now come here now come from come here therefore x square y2 plus x y1 this part we can write what y1 y okay this is the equation one and 3 cos x plus 4 log uh, 4 sin log x 3 cos x plus 4 sin log x is what y is not it so i put here minus y so therefore x square y2 plus x y1 plus y equal to zero so this is the correct answer this is the correct answer and hence it is proved it is is not it so what i am doing here i just take the differentiate both side with respect to x after that i differentiate i multiply by x in both side and it is become like that and after that i differentiate again the expression with respect to x and it will be like that x y2 plus x y1 and this part okay after that i again multiply x in both side so it will become x square y2 plus x y1 that is i take minus is common from that part and x x will be cancelled x x will be cancelled here so 3 cos log x plus 4 log, 
log sin s so this part we can write also y from equation 1 okay from equation 1 right so i take this minus y in the left side it will become like that that is answer is put so next question let's turn to the next question okay guys so the next question is the second question of second order derivative is if y equal to 10 plus x so that uh, 1 plus x square d square by dx square plus 2x d dx equal to 0 okay so let's try i take the question y equal to 10 inverse x and differentiate with respect to x here dy dx d dx of 10 inverse x so dy dx is what d dx of 10 inverse x is what 1 by 1 plus x square cross multiply this one okay cross multiplying both side okay so what is became x square dy dx equal to 1 now this one is u and this one is b okay then differentiate again so d u into d dx of b d into d dx of b b means dy dx plus dy dx d dx of 1 plus x square okay again d by dx 1 okay now differentiate it x square d square y dx square dy dx so d so derivative of this is what this one is 0 and this one is 2x here it will be 0 ddx of constant is 0 and ddx of x is 2x now come here it will become 1 plus x square d square over dx square plus 2x dy dx equal to 0 so answer is proved or should so answer came so it's so simple this type of questions there are so many types of questions will be there sometimes there will be square and sometimes there is uh, instead of sine in the tan bus x you may get sine bus x or cosine bus x okay so the method is same first differentiate this one after that cos multiply this one after that differentiate again and this part will be even to be and the final answer will be came out okay so the next question so the next question is the question is like that i already told uh, told in the previous question so if y equal to tan bus x whole square then prove that this one so if there is instead of sine bus x tan bus x eh, if there is another questions like this this type of questions y equal to tan bus x whole square then how can i do this this type of questions okay so let's try it given y equal to tan inverse x whole square now differentiate with respect to x so what will become dy by dx now 2 tan inverse x and ddx of tan inverse x has what 1 by 1 plus x square okay now i must plus multiply this part will be left side and this will be like that now this is the interesting things okay i give this one is one here yeah, this is the vital step the most remembering step or most forgettable step this one here you just squaring both side okay so what we will get after querying both side here i will get i can use this formula tan square s in terms of tan square x whole square tan bus x whole square i can replace as y is not it so this type of question when there is a, uh, when y is something but there is a square then always you use this tactic always you use this tactic right now I'm squaring this side both side dy dx whole square right and here will be 4 tan bus x whole square now we can replace tan bus x whole square by y from equation 1 is not it
4 y this one is u this one is b now differentiate with both side it will be u and b whole square d by dx whole square plus d by dx whole square 1 plus x whole square square now this one is 1 plus x square whole square 2 dy dx d square by dx square dy dx whole square now this one will be 2 dx of x square is what 2x x is what 1 plus x square and again differentiate this one it will be 2x and here 4 dy dx now come come here you see 2 dy dx is common in both both side i can take common 2 dy dx 2 dy by dx i can take common then here will be left 1 plus x square whole square d square y and dx square d square y dx square okay now here also what will be left here which came out this 2x 2x 1 plus x square and will be there dy dx again in the right side 4 and dy dx dy dx is cancelled 2, 2 is cancelled this 2 it is 1 plus x square whole square d square y dx square plus 2x 1 plus x square dy dx equal to 2 so replace d square dx square is what y2 this one is y2 2x 1 plus x square y1 equal to 2 so this is the answer this is the answer is not it this is the answer So what I am doing here, I am doing here, this one is given, we have to put this one, okay, right, fine. So I take this one and differentiate this one, after differentiating I squaring both sides. Why I am squaring both sides? Because there is 10 square x. So 10 plus x whole square. So 10 plus x whole square, uh, if I squaring this one, I can write, this one is replaced by y. And after that, differentiating both sides and this one will be u into b. And after simplification, the final answer is came out, okay. I hope all of you have understood this one.